Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Crow, and we have some good news. Not this news, this is bad news, this is really bad news. This is Sniper Wolf essentially going to Snapchat after she's told everybody, hey, my mental health, oh, I'm going to be taking a step back, oh, I need to figure things out. Uh, apparently somebody hit her up on Snapchat, and she was really quick to say, don't worry, I'm coming right back to doing the exact same trash content you all know and love me for. So, yeah, that's not good. And I guess people are thinking that... Um, uh, the, the demonetization is likely for a very, very short period of time. One thing I noticed, this is the channel that Sniper Wolf was attempting to evade demonetization on. Now, that may be a serious claim for some people, but the minute that YouTube stepped in and demonetized the channel, well, all of a sudden she stopped uploading anything to it. So clearly, clearly she cares about her money and she's not very happy with the punishment because she wasn't able able to evade it. So I, I guess on some level, uh, it, it's kind of good that you do see some evidence that being demonetized has impacted her and that she isn't taking it very well. Uh, but the real good news is actually Jax Films has responded. But before we jump into that, I just want to say a very special thank you to our audience for helping the channel grow. If you'd like to see that growth continue, please, I encourage you to like this video, drop a comment on it, help share the content on this channel. And if you haven't already, please, please consider subscribing. Any bit does help us boost us up in the algorithm. And we really appreciate it. Um, so he uploaded this to his second channel. Now, this channel was originally made to showcase the type of garbage that Sniper Wolf has been putting out for the past few years. On this channel, though, I would say that it's kind of funny. So Sniper Wolf does these reactions to random TikToks that she pulls off of, like, the top list of TikTok videos, the ones that have the most views and then she re-uploads them to her own channel while sitting in a chair and offering like almost zero commentary on what's actually going on. So Jax Films creates this channel. This channel is called Judge of Jax Films and all it is it was him sitting in a chair and reacting to Sniper Wolf's uploads except he was actually doing transformative content because one of the things he would do in these videos is play bingo with his audience in which they would kind of like predict what was going to happen in her upload and you know you would try to score a bingo it was it was pretty funny but anyways now that uh this whole situation has happened with sniper wolf um you know they demonetized the channel we've been waiting for jack to actually come out and make some type of statement and i, I think it's kind of funny too because i i saw people that tried to defend sniper wolf by saying well jack's films is the actual problem jack's films is milking the drama jack's films is just trying to monetize off of leah's name because she's so much more successful in what Whatever. If that were true, he would have been uploading this entire time, right? If that were true, Jack would have had videos on both channels milking the drama and gaining money and gaining subscribers throughout all of it, okay? But he didn't do that. Instead, as he says in the video, you know, he's at home, he doesn't feel safe in his own home, and he's trying to figure out, uh, does he need to move out of his house now? Which is a, a terrible thing. It's an actual terrible thing. He does not provide any any type of commentary on whether or not he's going to attorneys, whether or not he's taking any legal action. However, he did come up with a pretty unique idea on what to do with his second channel because it sounds like he's no longer going to be doing the same type of reacting to Sniper Wolf videos. Maybe he is, but he actually has a really good idea on how he can use his platform on YouTube to actually help other content creators out. And I want to play that part. It is a very short uh, update. It's less than three minutes long. I'm just going to go to that section because I want you guys to hear it. I want your opinion. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this idea, because what, one thing that I actually do appreciate about Jack is one, he did not seek to milk this drama to benefit himself. Most other content creators, whether they're good people or bad people, I feel like they would have done that because, you know, you're the one who was victimized and you want to like turn it into a positive for yourself. Now, Jack didn't do that. Instead, Instead, he's going to use his platform in order to help other people after all this drama has gone. I, I think it shows that he's an actual upstanding person. ...of crediting the creators. So for the time being, here's my plan. 
if you're a creator and you're open to the idea of me watching your work live on stream, providing critiques and feedback and tips, then please send us your stuff. We have a Google form linked in the description below, so fill it out if you want me to take a look at your work. It could be old, it could be new, it could be on YouTube, TikTok, whatever. And then on top of me critiquing it, we're also gonna play bingo with your videos. There are spaces like great thumbnail, editing goes hard, chat loves your vid, etc. Now obviously I'll shout out the creators, I'll link to them in the description once the series starts, but most importantly, I'll only react to videos from creators that consent to me reacting to them. I'm not gonna go to TikTok's For You page and just grab whatever has a million likes. And on the flip side, if you're brave enough to send me your work, I'm not just gonna stare at it jaw agape and go, man, that was something. I aim to constructively pick it apart, do deep dives, tell you what works and what I think could use some work and kind of turn this channel into a workshop for creators. At least that's what I want to try. So anyways, I, I, I think that that's a great thing to do with this channel. Now, he does go on to say that it's something that he is going to try. Um, he feels really off with everything that's gone on, um, and he doesn't know what exactly he plans to do in the future. Uh, check out the video for yourself. Like I said, it's less than three minutes long. It's definitely worth listening to if you haven't heard it already. But I, I think what he needs right now is his people and other people that have been paying attention to this drama to go in and offer some support to this idea. Because th this is this is what I mean about like the clear and stark difference between uh, a content creator like Sniper Wolf and a content creator like Jax Films. He doesn't milk things for drama and to boost his views. He actually tries to use his platform to do good by other people. And then you compare it to sniper wolf who uses her platform to bully people uh to consistently violate tos because she knows she's not going to be punished i mean these are two completely different people in, in how they use their platforms and what they actually are trying to do with those platforms one is all about the money the other one actually seems to care about his audience and the health of of the community so i can i i actually have a ton of respect for jack that you know I, i'm I, again i'm not a huge fan of the guy just to be clear right i'm, I'm not gonna lie and say oh I, i've watched all his videos from day one yeah jack fans but i have a tremendous amount of respect for him because again he didn't try to milk this drama t to his own benefit even though i don't think that necessarily there would have been anything wrong with him doing that you know he took the moral high ground on it he, he waited he waited he tried to figure out a positive way uh, of of moving forward after everything has gone on and he's still trying to help other people so I, I again tremendous amount of respect for jack i don't think that there's I, I i mean i'm sure that there's like a handful but like only a handful of other content creators who could go through the type of garbage that sniper will put him through and still come around and actually want to help other people as opposed to just thinking about himself so i i again Again, tons of respect, tremendous amount of respect. And I encourage everyone right now to go to his video and leave a comment and let him know, hey, man, I really support what you're trying to do. Hey, you know, I, I, I want to be a part of this project. I think you guys should do that. I really think you do, because right now, I think the best thing for him is to see that people are actually standing behind him and that they do have his back. And I actually want to highlight just a couple of things from the Jax Film subreddit. Thank God I was so worried, like his silence was scaring me. Glad he's back. I hope he and his wife is okay. Sniper Wolf really needs to be behind bars. Yeah, actually, I, I also appreciate the shots that he took at Sniper Wolf in, in that uh, in that video, too. That was great. Uh, loving Jack's new haircut. You can see, like, everyone's really happy that he's come back, right? They're saying they're excited. Um, that they're, they're just glad to hear from him. This dude has a super positive community, like a really positive community. I'm so excited, happy with the new idea Jack will be trying out. Honestly, it is so good for him to flip the script and focus on the positivity again. Shitting on Sniper Wolf, while it may have been warranted and funny, can draw negativity and drama. So I'm so glad to see him do the opposite, but in the same cause, show a good example of what a sensible reaction should be doing, instead of shitting on a bad example of what reactors shouldn't be doing. Honestly, I'm excited for this. I'm so glad Jack is still fighting the fight, but also trying to keep it positive this time. Now, to be clear, I don't have any issue with the way Jack was handling it before. 
right? I, I honestly don't. I, in fact, if anything, if he wanted to go like 10 times harder at Leah, I would have said like, dude, you are fully warranted to go for it, right? She obviously deserves it. However, I, I do think that, you know, he, he's taking an approach that fits more in line with the type of person he seems to be, which is about trying to figure out a way of moving forward and being positive, right? Trying to figure out a way, hey, I can still criticize her. I can still take jabs at her, but I can show you how this is supposed to be done. I I, I really like this idea, okay? I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of this idea. Think for others, especially people who deal with editing their videos and putting like a ton of time into a single video. Doing something like that, especially if they haven't had any uh, success on the platform, that can be like such a good way of helping new people build themselves up. Like, I, I really hope he does it. I hope he stays strong. I hope he stays positive. I know he didn't say anything specific about like a lawsuit or anything, but I do hope that he goes in that direction at the same time. So anyways, guys, just some just some thoughts and opinions on everything uh, kind of going on right now. You let me know what you think about this. Do you plan to support uh, Jack's new direction with his second channel? Um, do you think he should still just keep uh, pounding away and making fun of Sniper Wolf's bad uploads? You let me know in the comments and we'll have a discussion. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.